Hi, question number five taken from June 2016, Advanced Level Maths, HSC Statistics 1. Plastic drinking straws are manufactured to fit into drinks cartons which have a hole in the top. A straw fits into the hole if the diameter of the straw is less than 3 mm. The diameters of the straws have a normal distribution with mean 2.6 mm and standard deviation 0.25 mm. A straw is chosen at random. Find the probability that it fits in the hole, into the hole into a drinks carton. For the second part, 500 straws are chosen at random. Use a suitable approximation to find the probability that at least 480 straws fit into the holes in drinks cartons. For the third part, justify the use of your approximation. Okay, for the first part of the question, we need to find the probability that a straw will fit into the hole. That means probability of x, the diameter has to be less than 3 millimeters. Basically, we have a normal distribution with 2.6 as the mean and 0.25 is the standard deviation. Therefore, p of x being less than 3 standardized going to be of it's going to be equal to p of z being less than 3 minus 2.6 over the standard deviation. 0.25 which is going to give you uh, p of z being less than 1.6 so we're looking at the left hand side of the graph all right so 1.6 so the z value is going to be then 1.6 close bracket 0.9452 so this is then 0.9452 approximately 0.9452 to three significant figures. First part of the question is done. Second part, we have 500 such straws and um, the probability that they fit into the hole is uh, our probability of success, 0 0.9452. Probability of failure, it won't fit one minus that one. It's going to be 0 0.0548. Okay, so um, when we have a binomial uh, distribution, Approximating to a normal distribution, we're going to perform NP, NQ, NPQ. So what is NP is going to be 500 times 0 0.9452. Here, 500 times 0 0.0548. And over here, this much. All of which is going to give us um, this is going to be 472, you work that out, 27.4, and this one's going to be 25 decimal 89848. Remember now, you're going to uh, say, state, make your statement, since NP is greater than 5, and also NQ greater than 5, therefore, X is approximately distributed uh, to a normal distribution with mean, NP 472.6 and the standard deviation which is the variance here 25.89848 after continuity correction we're trying to find in the question a probability of X being at least 480 so X being greater than 480 that means probability of Z being greater than 479.5 we're doing the continuity co correction minus the standard the mean mu 472.6 over the standard deviation root of 25.89848 you work that out and you calculate you're going to end up with p of z being greater than um, let's do it uh, this one if you work this out you're going to end up with 1.3 and so on so clearly looking at the graph okay we're looking at this part here it's going to be 1 minus p of z being less than 1.36 so let's read our calculator you can check it from your table of values as well. 3 to the right of the graph, therefore 3, and the value is 
three six close brackets it's gonna give you hang on, hang on. Uh, this much three so let's put the the value like one point three double five eight five zero nine six close brackets here we are so that's gonna give us zero point zero eight seven five seven so therefore that's gonna be probability of x being greater or equal to 480 and the answer should be then 0 0.08757 let's just say approximately 0 0.08578 0 0.08757 to 3 significant figures and then for the um, third part we need to justify our use of the uh, well, the question says justify the use of um, approximation. Now both NP and NQ turned out to be greater than 5. So this is our justification of uh, uh, approximation to a normal distribution. Take care.